welcome to class one or lesson one of the 21 day Get Connected, Stay Connected course that you have registered for. I am very excited that you've decided to join me and I look forward to spending the next 21 days with you and implementing some um, really cool things into your life so that you can start attracting the things that you want into your life instead of things that we don't want. So let's start out by talking um, in this particular class about what we are actually connected to and what we are disconnected to and all that good stuff we know what is this whole connection thing um, if you've done a course with me before you know that um, I, I base a lot of my stuff on the law of attraction the law of attraction is working all the time whether we know it whether we believe it um, you know we are attracting everything into our lives our circumstances people experiences things you know everything um, it's us we're, we're the ones doing that and when you can really accept that you have the power within you to create and to attract the things that you want to and that you are that creator, then your world becomes magical. You um, can create any life that you want and the dreams that you have can come true. Um, and you will also start to recognize that if you're in a place where you're not really happy and you're wanting to make some changes, you'll start to accept that it takes more responsibility that you have attracted that into your life as well. And that's really huge because it works both ways. The law of attraction is working all the time. It's not just working to attract good things into your life. It's working all the time. So wherever you are in your life, whether you think it's good or bad, that's what you're going to get. And the universe doesn't really um, understand the good or the bad. It's just going to answer with the frequency that you're vibrating in. So if you're in a frequency of... Um, not enough, or I'm, I can't lose weight, or I've never found the job I want, or, you know, uh, you know, there's nobody out there for me, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, or, you know, you know, the dreams that you have in your life, if you're always thinking of what you don't have, then that's what the universe is going to answer, more of what you don't have, so we have got to learn how to really shift out of that and connect to get the things that we do want. So what are we actually talking about when we're talking about this connection thing? Get connected and stay connected. It's kind of like, um, you know, what we do our whole lives. And when we start to master this, it's our jobs become getting connected and staying connected. And when we get disconnected, to get reconnected. It's just like a, it's just a cycle that we want to practice. And, and as we practice it and we get better at it, we won't get as disconnected. So it, when we are disconnected, it won't be as challenging to get reconnected. All right, so hopefully that made some sense to you. So what are we talking about as far as getting connected? Getting connected to what? Well, getting connected to your inner power, to that divine source. Um, that's where everything is. You, yourself, hold within you, your spirit, your soul, all the power, all the answers, all the solutions, all the next steps, all the what should I do's, everything is there within you. We have been so conditioned to look outside of us for those answers and for validation or to, to fill up what we fill that void with. You know, we have been, we, we go outside of ourselves to look for that. And unfortunately, it's not located outside of us. And that's why we constantly feel that lack of or that failure or I just can't seem to have what I want. You know, that's where that comes from because we're not connected to that source. You, even though it's inside of you, you can still have that disconnect. All right. So the divine source, you're, it's within you. And how do you know when you're connected? How do you know when you're disconnected? Well, that's what we're going to talk about tonight. All right. Today wherever you are, whenever it is. That's what we're going to talk about in this first lesson is how do we know? We're going to start really practicing. This is what, one of the things that you're going to be doing, becoming very self-aware um, with how you feel because how you feel is going to give you that indication of whether you are connected or disconnected. And remember, when I say connected and disconnected, when we're connected to that powerful source within us, it feels really good. And we know what to do. We know um, the directions to go. We attract the right people into our lives. We run into the, you know, we get the right phone calls. We run into the right people at the grocery store. We, you know, everything starts to work for us. Um, and if we're disconnected, then those things may still be happening, but unfortunately, we can't see it. It's like a blindfold is just right over us and we can't even see it because we're just not connected to it. We don't, we don't feel it. And that's how we know. So we're going to use our emotions and our feelings as an indication of, of how connected we are and what we need to do to find that connection so that we can 
begin to attract the things that we want. So here's the thing. I want you to think now of um, of something that maybe does, you know, works in your life or at times that you felt really, really good. And think about, you know, what was going on and how that felt for you. Like, you know, it could be anything. It could be the birth of your child. It could be when you won an award or when you ran a marathon or, you know, where you achieved something or just a snuggle time with your spouse or your partner or, um, you know, seeing a, a bunch of little puppies, you know, playing, you know, whatever it may be. It's, it's, um, it feels really good. It's heartwarming. It feels really good. That's when you're connected to that source because that source is nothing more than just pure love. All right. So anything outside of that sourceful energy, that love that we are connected to when is based out of fear and things that come from fear, you know them well, you know them if you're practicing them in your daily lives, whether it's frustration or bitterness or anger, or resentment, jealousy, rage, um, Sadness, depression, anxiety, uh, you know, worry, all those things that don't feel good, that is the opposite. That's when we're disconnected. That's the opposite of what our power source is, which is just based on love. So if that's our dominant um, vibration, if that's our dominant, you know, field, then, then you can see how you're going to continue to attract things that, that will amplify that and to keep you stuck in that cycle. So you know now you've thought of something that makes you feel good, and you can say, yeah, I, I really felt connected. Sometimes those connection feelings don't, they don't last that long, but we all know them, and we've all had them before. So you don't have to, um, you know, you can relate to the feeling that I'm talking about, you know, just that joyful bliss where time just stops and think, you know, life is wonderful. And we want to get to a place where we can feel that more often and we can get that connection more often and more than that when we when we lose the connection how we can reconnect to it again all right and it starts with that self awareness so we we're aware of some times that we're connected and the reason i ask you to do that is because i want you to know that you have that power um, just based on history, based on a, a past experience that, that felt really good, you you know it. Because if you didn't know it, you wouldn't know its opposite, which is maybe where you are now and not having something that you might want. So you do you know what that feels like. And what we want to do is we want to start to recognize when we are connected and when we're not connected. All right, and this is in your everyday life. So when you wake up in the morning, if you're feeling really positive and you feel really good, um, there's a good chance you that you've got that connection. You should just go with it because it's going to give you some momentum. It's, um, you know, you're good to go. If you're feeling, if you're a little disconnected, maybe um, you might not feel so good. You might immediately wake up and start remembering the problems that you fell asleep to. Um, you might, you know, put your hand on your stomach and say, oh my God, I'm so fat, I feel terrible, I'm so unhealthy. You know, that right there is that disconnect because it doesn't feel really good. So we've got to learn how to connect so that we can feel better and get out of that thought pattern because it's those thoughts and those feelings and those emotions that are keeping you stuck in there. So becoming aware is definitely a big step, a big first step in um, making these changes and creating that shift. So think about... Um, I want you to ask you, you know, first of all, what, what is it that you're wanting to accomplish with this course? Um, are you feeling disconnected? Is it just, um, are you looking for, uh, you know, something more spiritual? Or are you looking, you know, to, to fill a void that you might be having? Or are you wanting to connect so that you can use the law of attraction to your advantage so that you can bring the things into your life that you really want? Um, you know, I'm curious to know what your purpose is behind the course because that's going to help us um, together to recognize where you stand right now because we need to be aware of where you are right now. So whatever that may be, you know, whether it's weight loss or, you know, a career change or, you know, meeting your soulmate or, you know, you just have that lack of money, you're ready for financial freedom, you know, whatever it is that you don't have, that you're wanting, I want you to start paying attention to what you think about it, how often you're thinking about it, what is it that you're thinking about it, and how it is it, how is it making you feel. So let's take the first thing. How often are you thinking about it throughout your day? I ask all my um, my clients and the people I work with with my life coaching, you know, my one-on-ones and whether it's these group trainings or whatever, I always ask them, you know, how often do you think of it? If someone says that they, you know, really want to lose weight and they've tried everything and, you know, they're just stuck, they can't lose weight, they're just miserable. Um, 
it's usually not that they they can't it's that they're stuck they've got they've, they've got a blockage and we're going to talk about that a little bit more as we um, continue this course but for now I want to know and I want you to know so hopefully you're writing this stuff down or taking some mental notes um, how often throughout your waking hours are you thinking about what it is that you want or don't have you know want as in it because if you're wanting it the signal is that you don't have it okay so really hear that again if if the signal that you're sending to the universe if you're if you're putting that intention out like I just want money I just want to pay my bills I just want enough money to pay my bills or I want to lose 20 pounds you know you're wanting it so so you may think that you're putting out that intention of oh, I'm gonna use the law of attraction I just gotta say what it is that I want but what happens is that that, that dominant vibration is that you want it because you don't have it. You don't have it. So your dominant thought is that you don't have it. And that's what I want you to start paying attention to. What and or how long and do you spend thinking about what you don't have and what it is that you're wanting? How long are you are you um, thinking about this stuff? Because if you're thinking about it, you're feeling it. And if you're feeling it and you're thinking about it, you're putting out that that, you know that signal that that's what you want more of so that's where we have to break that and we have to you know change that whole process now if you're um, in that dominant thought process of not having it and this is what I want this is what I want then you're not fully connected because if you're fully connected to that power source within you and what this is all about then you wouldn't feel that need to want you would be able to let that go or you would be able to feel that you have everything you want right now because when you put off that vibration and when you are putting off that you have enough and you have wonderful things and everything is wonderful then you're gonna get more of what is wonderful alright does that make sense I know that so now you're like okay so what do I do you know what am I gonna do again first step we're gonna take is becoming aware how long are you spending during your waking hours thinking about this stuff how long of, in, during the day, you know, when you're at work or driving in the car or does someone say something to you or you have, a, you know, what about the conversation that you have with people? Think about that one. If it's a matter of lack of money or not being able to lose weight or, you know, there's not a soulmate out there for me, you know, whatever it may be, think about the conversation that you have with people about it. You know, I mean, especially when it comes to the money thing, you know, we, we could talk all day to our friends or our coworkers about how broke we are and yeah, well, my rent just went up, you know, and oh, God, my phone bill is $400 this month and I don't know how I'm going to pay it and I just never have enough. I can't seem to get caught up and we tell these stories and, and we tell them so well, it's kind of crazy. We just get so wrapped up in them and it's, it's what we know because it's, it's dominant. It's, it's the dominant thought process. It's what's going on. So of course, we've gotten really accustomed to it and used to it, and people love to hear it, don't they? They offer you, well, let me tell you about me. Let me tell you how broke I am. You may think you're broke, but I have $75,000 in student loans, so you have no idea. And they're coming after me with 30% interest, and I don't know what I'm going to do, and I have this, and it cost me $12,000 when I had shoulder surgery. So we go in, and we're just going on and on and on, and so all that momentum is just on what we don't have and what you know what we need and what we don't have and what we want but it's not there it's not there and we feel it so we're just going to continue to attract more of those things because we're disconnected so we got to connect because when we connect to that source just like I said in the beginning that's where the solutions are that's where everything is once you get there you'll see that you can let that stuff go and that now you've created some space to receive what it is that you really want to feel that connection and to understand that your whole purpose is to reconnect with that power source we forgot we forgot and we forgot because we needed to forget so that we could remember and that's for me that's kind of why we're here that's what our life is about is is remembering remembering because it's step by step that we start to reconnect to that power source and to that divine source or God whatever you want to call it the universe you know the Almighty whatever you want to call it doesn't matter it's it's still that that all-knowing source that we're connected to um, you know we created are, we create things that that create darkness for us. We, we think of things for the darkness so that we can bring our light into it and know that that's what we want. Um, and hopefully that makes sense to you. You know, you know really put some thought into that. Um, before we were born, you know, our soul was still there. We, we, energy it always has been, it always will be, right? It can't be destroyed. It, it's, you know, we've always been and we always will be. Even when we're done with this life and this body that we're in, we're still going to go on. And, um, 
And if we haven't remembered and learned what we needed to learn, then we'll probably manifest into something else so that we can, because again, that's our, our purpose. And we're just going to reconnect to that. But the cool thing is that you can find that connection now in this life. And when you do, you realize that that's all you need. Everything will fall right into place. The right things, the right people, the right circumstances, everything is within that connection. So, okay, we're, we're going to start recognizing when we're not connected, when we're thinking and we're feeling what we don't have and, you know, the, the negative that we're not wanting and that kind of thing. We're going to start becoming more aware. And when we are aware, we're going to make a different choice. We're going to, and it may be in the beginning, it's, it's a hard, it might, it might not be as easy as, oh, well, I'm thinking about not having enough. So I'm going to think of having, if I have enough, all of a sudden I have enough, I feel good. And ah, oh, $10,000 falls from the sky. Maybe not. Maybe not. It might not work that way. But here's the thing. If you're hanging on to, if you have this thought in your head or you have this picture in your mind that, okay, I'm just going to plug in, I'm going to connect to the source and I'm going to get everything that I want right then and then I'm going to feel really good, then you're still missing it because that's not going to fix anything right now. Does that make sense? Like, it's, it's not going to happen overnight where you're just like, oh, I'm all better now. I have what I need. You know, it's you can shift into that feeling, which means that we're going to start to attract things that will help to answer our, you know, questions or prayers, whatever you want to call it, or, you know, the solutions will come to us. We'll get what we want, you know, of course. But here's the thing. It's not done like that. It's not going to be one extreme to the next. I mean, we can definitely go from disconnected to connected. Absolutely. And here's the thing. When you're thinking, so when you notice... And you become aware that of the thoughts that you don't want, all right, the ones that are that are keeping you um, prison, you know, the ones that you that just have you handcuffed and you can't do anything. You're just stuck because of those thoughts. You're going to start noticing them more and more, which is really cool. Um, and when you start noticing them, shifting out of them, even for just um, a second, okay, even if you can just change the thought enough to feel better, okay, because feeling better is raising your vibration and it's connecting into that source and it's a start it's a great start because you're going to build momentum because once you feel a little bit better then something's going to join that and then join that and then join that and then all of a sudden you've got a little momentum behind you I mean think of the momentum the thoughts that you're that you're going through now you know that I don't have enough and the stories that you talk about with your friends and family and co-workers or whoever and you know even this person at the grocery store in line oh my gosh can you believe the price of gum went up to 129 I remember when it's a quarter you know think of all those things right and catch yourself you know, that's it right there. There's the disconnect and, and reconnect and say, you know, and even if you don't say it, you just feel it. I'm just really happy that I'm here and I, whatever you're buying in the store, you know, that's a good place to always do it. I'm grateful that I can do that and I'm right where I need to be. And, I, and obviously I have what I need, you know, I, I must have exactly what it is that I need right now because I'm standing here. I'm, I'm alive. I'm breathing. I, you know, look, I, I breathe without even knowing it, you know, I, it, I just subconsciously do it. I'm just, I'm getting what I need. And we've created this illusion that we don't have what we need. And, and it's not true. We have everything we need. And when you can start to accept that, then things start to turn around a little bit. You realize that, that it's okay. It's okay when, you know, it's okay. And when you feel it's okay, that feels pretty good. And that feels better. It's kind of a relief. And so even if the relief is our higher vibration, it may not be where we want. It may not be, okay, I'm right there. I've landed. I've, I've got what I want. Nope, it might not be that. But it doesn't matter because it's all in the feeling. And when I feel better and I'm feeling some relief and I feel okay, that it's okay, then I'm going to try other things that make me feel okay. And, like, everything's going to be all right. And, and it's a little bit better and a little bit better. So you can see how becoming aware is going to be the first step because you can make a different choice. You can, you know, choose a different thought. Choose a different thought. At first, it may seem like you're forcing yourself to think of something. I've talked about this in, an, in my other courses where we have a go-to story, a go-to um, memory, something that makes us feel really good that we can think about because that's going to help to shift us out of where we are. Because think about it like this, everybody. Whatever it is that you're you're thinking that you don't have, whether it's, you know, you don't weigh what you want to weigh, you're not where you want to be physically, or you don't have the money, um, that, that you want right now or maybe that you need, um, you know, and things just are falling apart. There's nobody for you. I keep meeting the same jerk over and over and over. You know, I can't seem to attract a good person into my life. Um, 
I, you know, my job's not going where I want it to go, you know, whatever, you know, you can, you, you know, we know those thoughts, and let me ask you this, what, what do you get from it, do you, do, when you think about it, and it, and it builds like that, and you put some, you know, power behind it, and you have the conversation with someone. If you have a conversation with someone about what you don't have and not having enough, then the price of gum has gone up, or price of gas, whatever. What, um, what do you get out of it? Where is the relief in that? Where, where is the, um, the purpose? What, what are we getting out of it? You know, what's happening? Why, why even do it? And when you can realize that and accept that, you'll, you'll start to make a different choice and you'll start to clean up those thoughts a little bit. And, and that's what I want you to do. Because when you're in those patterns, then you, you begin to really um, notice and you begin to catch yourself not being connected. And remember, to reconnect, it may mean that you just feel better. It doesn't mean that you're like 110% everything's perfect, I got what I want, because I don't think we're ever going to get to that place, you know, I don't think that there's a such a thing, I think instead, it's all in this journey, and it's all about feeling better, little by little, and, and making progress, because progress makes us feel really good, and you're going to feel pretty powerful, and pretty good when you see that you change the thought and that you raise your vibration. It feels really good and it feels really powerful. And you're going to do it more and more and more and more and more. And and that's what it's about, everybody. You know, that's what it's about. All right, so we talked about becoming aware and during your waking hours. I want to hear from you guys, you know. I want you to shoot me a message and let me know. Man, 99% of my day I, talk, I think and talk about not having enough. So I can see how the, the momentum behind it is really keeping me stuck here. Um, you know, I want you to, to share that with me. And I want you to also start paying attention to what's on your mind before you go to sleep and when you wake up in the morning. Because you can see now how powerful your, your thoughts are, right? Um, a lot of you guys I've worked with before, and so this isn't um, brand new stuff right now for you, and that's okay. Um, but if I said to you, um, I was just talking, I just did a one-on-one -on -one before this, and I was... You know, we're talking about the power of our thoughts and, you know, how much is behind them. So if you're thinking about, you know, if I told you, to, oh, you know, a story like, yeah, I just witnessed um, someone throw a, you know, a, a kid felt, not throw, but a kid, you know, jumped off a balcony on accident like a toddler or something. You know, that whole thought, if I had to think that and feel that, my heart would be fast. I would be afraid. I just can't even imagine my palms would sweat. And it didn't happen. It was just a thought. And, you know, it was just a thought. And that thought changed my whole physiology. It changed everything. And it, it really brought me into the, this place of fear. And if that one thought that I had never even thought before, but that one thought just now, if that thought has that much power to change my whole body right then, physically, my heart rate, my sweating, like everything just like, <gasps> you know, locks up on me. Think about how powerful the thoughts that when you don't have enough or I don't have what I want and I need money, I need money, I need money, I need money, I need money over and over and over and you've been thinking it for how many years and how many hours a day, how much power does it have, right? It's pretty powerful, right? So we got to change it. We got to clean up those thoughts and we got to feel a little bit different about it. And, and it might not be that you convince yourself you wake up and morning, oh, I have enough money. Oh, I have enough money. I have enough money. Yep, that's where we want to be. Absolutely, because the universe is going to answer to that. But here's the thing. If you don't really believe that right off, then it might not it might not be um, a feeling that you get. You might not feel that relief like, oh, thank God I paid my rent on time. I feel so good. I have so much money. Because if that's not the reality of it, you, you might not feel it. So let's start on a smaller scale. And that's the, that is where we're going to have that go-to memory or that go-to story to come in to play because it's really important that we shift to feeling good. And the reason I asked about the going to sleep and the waking up is if during our waking hours throughout the day, we just said, you know, we just talked about it. And so maybe 80% of my day I'm thinking about my problems, my issues that I want to change and what I don't have. 20% of the time I feel good or 20% of the time I'm not thinking about it, you know. That 20% is huge. You're not thinking about it. Because even, so here's the thing, like think about this, 
I have a bill that's due that, that costs five hundred dollars. You know, maybe it's a let's say a cable bill or something. Phone bill is you know something I need my cell phone. You know, I do everything on my cell phone. It's five hundred dollars this month, and uh, you know I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. And I'm thinking about it all the time. And what am I going to do? And what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And if I'm in that frequency and I'm not connected, because remember when we're connected, that's the solutions. That's the answers. That's the next step. That's the where do I go? You know what? That's the, that's where it all is happening. Is you know when we're connected to that power source. So if I'm in that constant mode of what I'm going to do, and I'm thinking about it all the time, I can't be connected, right? And if I'm not connected, I don't know the solution. I don't know what to do. I don't know the answer. I don't know where. I, I don't know anything. I'm just disconnected, so it feels really bad. So I'm just going to go with it and feel really, really bad. So 80% of the time, I'm thinking like that. But then there's that 20% of the time, you know, maybe for me, it's when I exercise. I, um, I don't think about much. I zone out. I love it. That's why I'm a big fan of exercise. Um, I zone out, and I don't have to think about it anymore. And because if I'm thinking about it, even though I'm thinking about it, it's still not solving anything. I still don't have the five hundred dollars to pay the bill. So why am I going to allow that to bring me down eighty percent of my day? So I know that the other twenty percent, actually, I'm not thinking about it, and I felt really good. And I felt really good because my vibration was up. And when my vibration is up, then I'm in a good place to to do things. And I may and I may say, huh. I wonder if I, because, you know, it's, you know, I should call the, the phone company and talk to them and see if I can make an arrangement or something. You know, maybe something like that will pop up um, because I'm connected and, and I'm going to get my next step. I'm going to be able to be a little more open to see it and a little more cleared out, that kind of thing. So I'm able to, you know, make a different thing. But my whole point here is through those waking hours, you don't have to think about it all the time, you know? Just because you don't have enough money to pay a bill, or you haven't met your soulmate, or you didn't get the job you wanted, or you feel so fat and miserable, you don't have to think about it all the time. It doesn't mean that the circumstances change all of a sudden, but you know what it means? is when you're not thinking about it, you're not attracting more of the same to you. So I want you to start really paying attention to the, the percentage of, you know, I know that we talked about how much you're thinking about it. And if that was 100%, we've got a lot of work to do, but no worries, we're going to do it. But if it was 90% or 80%, 70%, 50%, whatever, the remainder of that time, what are you thinking and what are you doing to make yourself not think about it? Because not thinking about it's okay. It doesn't mean it's going away. and It doesn't mean we're ignoring it. It doesn't mean that we're not going to pay it. It just means there's nothing I can do right this second. So why do I have to worry about it? Because worrying attracts more things to worry about, okay? When you're worrying, you're attracting more things to worry about, all right? So you're creating that. You're creating it all the time. Right now, how you feel is creating what's coming at you. So you have got to feel good, and that's what this is all about, all right? So you're going to pay attention to your thoughts during the day. I want to hear about that, the, the ratio, and what you're going to do about that. And I also want you to start paying attention to what you think about before you go to sleep and when you wake up in the morning. Because what happens is in between that, that subconscious is just working, working, working. And, you know, you may have seen that whole thing, um, you know, maybe on social media with the iceberg is up here, and you know, but everything else is down here. So you have the iceberg here, but then down here is where, you know, it's like our subconscious where it all is taking place. And you better believe if you're waking hours and when you're consciously thinking all those negative thoughts, you better believe it's happening deep down as well. So you're going to start to shift. And when you pay attention before you go to sleep, um, you know, go to sleep feeling good, feeling abundant, feeling worthy. You know, even if it's um, hard to do at first, love yourself and, and feel good. It's going to go a long way. And when you wake up, it's going to feel a lot better. And when you wake up feeling a little bit better, you're going to get up feeling better and better and better. And all of a sudden, I feel pretty good. Oh, my gosh, I feel really good. And you realize that you can feel really good without having what it is over there that you think that you really want right this very second. You know? And when you feel really good, it's going to come because you feel really good. And, and you're connected. And so we're going we're gonna to work on this. I'm excited. I um, am really excited about this one. And I'm glad that you guys have decided to join me. And I'm here for you. I'm looking forward to our one-on-ones. I'm looking forward to messaging with you guys and um, and just being in touch and, and, you know, us connecting on a nice deep level as well. So...
Have a happy day. Have a happy night wherever you are. I look forward to class two, which will be released this week. And that's it, guys. I will talk to you all really soon.